Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Shipping is a big part of the market industry. Many people work on uh, around container ships, loading and unloading cargo, uh, often using large cranes to do so. Even with other kinds of ships, loading and unloading in parts of the regular routine, and cranes are utilized for ships of all types and sizes to efficiently and quickly move cargo and supplies. All types of maritime jobs are dangerous, but working with cargo and using crane machinery can be particularly fraught with risk. Operator offers mechanical failures, uh, poor training, and lack of safety equipment, and training can all contribute to the accidents while cargo is loaded and unloaded. If you are uh, in this role either on ships or on the dock, uh, you put yourself at risk of injury every day. You have rights under maritime law to recover damages if you are injured, and your loved ones have rights in a traffic event that you are uh, killed in a work accident. Dangers of cargo loading and unloading is the next discussion. Container and cargo shipping is a huge industry and requires a lot of workers to load and unload cargo from ships of all sizes. In container shipping, this means using huge cranes to hoist railroad containers onto and off of large ships. Smaller cranes may be utilized in ports with smaller cargo containers. Some cargo loading and unloading is done by hands with workers carrying loads on and off boats. Regardless of the sizes of the operation or the equipment used, <coughs> there are inherent risks for this kind of work gradually done by longshoremen and harbor workers. For those workers moving cargo by hand, without the aid of equipment, the injury risks include repetitive motion injuries, joint damage, back and neck injuries, and broken bones, cuts or scraps from falling while carrying cargo. When cranes are used for a cargo, the injuries can be much more severe. Drop loads represent a serious hazards that can cause injuries and fatalities. Other risks include getting hit by moving cranes or vehicle moving in crowded spaces of the shipping ports. Longshore workers are also at risk of falling into the water and possibly drowning. And then causes of accidents is the next discussion. One of the main causes of accidents involving cranes for loading and unloading shipping cargo is operator error. The worker operating a crane in this industry must be highly skilled and trained to use the machinery safely and effectively. If a worker has not been adequately trained, he or she may make mistakes and cause an accident. A worker who is fatigued may also cause accident by making an error of the judgment or even falling asleep on a job. Operator error can also come from poor communications. Crane operators must be in radio contact with other workers to make loading and unloading go smoothly and safely. Me mechanical errors and are another important sources of cargo and crane accidents. A crane that malfunctions due to no error on the part of the operator can easily drop a load or swing out of control and hurt someone. A machine may malfunction because it has not been properly maintained or has not been repaired when it should have. If any part of the equipment is not working right, the whole machine becomes dangerous to everyone around it. Accidents with cargo that does not involve a crane may happen because the cargo is improperly stored aboard a ship and shifting cargo can come loose and hurt someone. For instance, workers carrying and lifting cargo may have accidents if they are not wearing appropriate safety gear or have not been trained to lift or carry safely. Cargo that contains hazardous materials like toxic chemicals may also cause exposure accidents if not stored correctly. Examples of accidents and injuries 
There are too many examples of workers in the shipping industry getting hurt or even killed because of cranes or cargo. In an example of poor safety training, a turbo generator was being lifted by crane to a part uh, when part of it fell and struck a worker. Uh, the piece the piece weighed 75 pounds and he was unable to escape the incident while with injuries only. The accident was fatal. The error came in safety procedures. The workers were removing nut and uh, nut bolt assemblies that the generator ring was suspended over them. They should have known that doing so was unsafe. There was also lack of communication that contributed to the accident. The workers thought that the assemblies were connected to the generator and did not realize they would fall when removed. Another incident describes how workers' error can lead to an accident. Longshore workers were unloading aluminum bars from a ship using a crane, and then the workers were not experienced in using the particular lifting system and did not secure the load well enough. As the person operating the crane that lifted and moved the bar swung the load out towards the pier, one of the bars fell. It weighed 1,300 pounds, struck a worker on the ground and killed him. Not only were the workers moving the bars not trained with the equipment they were using. It was not the preferred method for, for moving the cargo from the ships. Yet another tragic longshoreman fatality occurred in a busy high traffic port when it struck uh, the walker. The walker had tripped and fell into the path of the truck. He may not uh, tripped because of the surface that was inappropriately cluttered with items or it could have been a true accident. There was no witness uh, to the fall but the incident illustrates just how hazardous the environment of the port for loading and unloading cargo can be. The crowded area of a harbor or port is full of risks and dangers and his example illustrates just how courteous workers need to be. In another cargo loading incident, workers were loading 2,000 pounds rolls of paper pulp onto a cargo ships. A worker loading this cargo used a truck to transport the rolls from a warehouse to the ships where a crane would lift them onto the ship. One roll in his load was damaged and he stopped the truck to fix it. With the rolls lifted up the air but not properly secured, he and other workers made repairs to the underside of one of the rolls. Another roll fell from the truck, uh, struck the driver and killed him. With proper loading and transporting procedures, this tragic accident could have been avoided. The workers had been using equipment that was not correct for securing the rolls to the truck. And then maritime workers' right is the next discussion. If you work as a longshoreman in a port or as a seaman aboard a ship carrying cargo, you do a dangerous job. Any number of errors or missed opportunities for safety precaution could lead to an accident that causes injury or death. You have rights to compensation. If you are injured on a job thanks to Martin Moss, you can get money to cover your medical expenses to pay the wages you lost from not being able to work and possibly even extra money for pain and suffering depending on your situation and whether negligence can be proven to have been involved. Your loved ones also have right to compensation if you are killed during this dangerous work. Either you or your loved one may find it difficult to navigate maritime laws and to fight for your rights. You can rally on expertise of a maritime lawyer to guide you through the claims process and to present you as you try to get the money you are owed. I think that's all guys the information that I can say to you. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you need information related to maritime topics, you are in the right channel because in this channel we talk about it a lot. And then if you guys want us to talk about or discuss about the information that you need about maritime topic, you can just drop your comment below in the comment section guys. And later when we have a chance we will talk about it. And uh, I hope you can take a from the video that I have said to you guys. And I hope this can help you. 
yeah i think that's all the information that i can share to you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give like comment and subscribe bye bye see you in another video guys